hello 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 guys how are you doing out there luna here welcome to my channel i'm so excited to be back here and just to chat with you how is everyone doing out there in this corona time <laughs> yeah i think we're getting uh you know used to it and just taking those precautions that uh, we've been told to you know uh take like sanitizing our hands and uh, wearing masks and uh, social distancing and all those things, you know. So, I'm fine here. My family and I are fine. And this is how I look. This 2021, guess what? I had to shave off my hair on the 1st of January. How do I look? <laughs> well, I usually do this every five years, uh, like on the 1st of January. I last did it on the 1st of January 2015, and I thought it was time to do it again. Uh, you know, I asked my husband if he could help with, the, you know, uh, shaving and he didn't hesitate he said why not if you like it if you want to do it and you're happy with it then i'm gonna do it for you so i'm excited so i shaved it off on the first of january and she was very fresh you know very fresh when i'm about to take the shower or the bath it's really amazing you know you don't have to use a lot of shampoo or conditioner you just use a bit and it's done. <laughs> For those of you who know me from way back, I think you will agree with me that I like being bored. And for those of you who were with me at a boarding school, you will remember that I actually annoyed one of my, uh, uh, who was he? He was a deputy head teacher because apparently uh, I had uh, permed my hair and my hair was so long and beautiful and uh, he sent me to you know shave it off and uh, instead of just trimming it i just went to the barber shop and uh, they removed everything you know just like it is now and when i got back to school he was so mad at me i think some of you remember that he was always after me you know he got so upset that i went and shaved off everything instead of trimming so uh trimming is not for me actually i don't like trimming hair i like to shave it off uh, so that it can start you know afresh uh, another reason i think uh, uh, before and after pregnancy hormones play a part in uh, women's hair not all but uh, most of us uh, get affected and uh, i've noticed that i've been affected by the hormones of uh, before and after pregnancy so i thought my hair was not looking that good and uh, it was also high time I did uh, cut my hair and it was uh, nice to do it on the 1st of January as I always do every five years. So if you look at me, those of you who know one of my brothers, my uh, he's uh, in his 40s. <laughs> when I shave off my hair like this, we actually do look alike so much. So I'm glad that my husband accepted to like help me because uh, he's not against that, you know, he's not even uh, ashamed. I can go anywhere with him like this and, you know, he's very comfortable, you know, I can wear a wig, he's comfortable, I can have kinky hair, I can, you know, whatever I decide to do as long as it makes me happy, he supports it and so I'm so grateful. So... And when um, I uh, had the baby, uh, the baby was pulling off my hair. You know, when he was about five to like seven months, he was pulling it off. He would just grab it and pull it off and it would pain. And for him, it's just being a baby. You know, he doesn't know that he's doing uh, uh, something that's hurting me. And yeah, I just had to like endure the pain. So when I shaved it off, I thought he would be like surprised or maybe scared or cry. But no, well, I think he noticed, but he has not uh, like uh, uh, reacted in a bad way. So now the one suffering is my husband. 
he's pulling his hair, you know, left, right, center, you know, just. So, yeah. And also, since uh, I'm on maternity leave, and I think I've uh, already, like, written on Facebook that maternity leave here in Sweden takes, like, one year, six months. So, being home and not going to work, you know, I thought it's the best time also to go bold so that by the time uh, I'm going back uh, to work, because I still have a, a long way to go, I will have my hair grown and, uh, you know, and also this lockdown thing, you know, during this corona time, because now we've decided that instead of all of us going for shopping, like uh, uh, groceries and other stuff, we decided, you know, only one of us should go because uh, that way we will, like, um, avoid, the, you know, catching, uh, you know, in, in being infected by the corona, you know, to avoid uh, overcrowded uh, places like supermarkets and all. So he does the shopping and most of the time I just find something fun at home to do so that I don't get bored, you know. Uh, I'm sure you guys out there are doing the same because... It feels like it's gonna be forever we're gonna be locked up like this but believe you me we should always see light at the end of the tunnel it's gonna be fine it won't be always like this it's really going to be fine it may not be soon but it's gonna be fine soon so let's just find something you know interesting or something our hobbies and do that and you know days uh, go by and uh, one day corona COVID-19 will be declared gone. So let's continue taking those precautions that we've received from the medical people. You know, let's just uh, continue doing that because I've been affected. I have uh, close uh, friends and family members who have died. You know, some of them young, leaving behind families. And that's when it hits you to say, oh, actually, corona is real. So let's continue taking those precautions so that we don't uh, contract it or get infected you know in an unnecessary way wear masks sanitize your hands you know wash them regularly and all those things that we've been told social distancing and all avoiding uh, you know overcrowded places and just you know let's continue doing that so i feel very fresh and you know like a new person and that's why I never like trimming my hair. It's not my thing. I just like to cut it off so that it can start, you know, from the roots. So, it's nice. It feels great. You know, you feel cleaner and you just, hmm, you feel like a new person, kind of. Actually, it takes a lot of courage to do this. I'm sure those of you who have gone bald before agree with me it's just, it's uh, not for the faint-hearted you know so it's um, a new year a new beginning and everything so I just thought uh, well for those of you who would like to follow my journey of my hair growing you are welcome to do so let's see what will become of this hair in a few months time how will it be? It's already showing <laughs> positive results. I think it's coming up so fresh and, you know, I like it. It was shaved. Yes, very, 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 very bored. Now it's coming up. So, you can do it if you're interested. Just, you know, gather the courage and, you know, you will. It's nice. So, guys, I just thought I should... Uh, you know, check on you and, you know, thank those uh, subscribers, you know, who have already subscribed and are watching my videos. I say thank you very much. For those of you who have not subscribed, you're going to miss out on a lot of things because believe you me, I have a lot of fun coming my way. So don't hesitate because there is a lot of fun awaiting. So. Don't hesitate to uh, subscribe. So I thank you very much for watching. 
this short video and from us here we are saying have a pleasant weekend and remember to take care of yourselves we still need you you still need us we still need one another so let's continue taking care of ourselves i know even those who have been infected and have died are not stupid in any way it's just unfortunate so and we are not clever of course it's just that uh you know i don't know how i can uh, describe it but we are not clever they are not foolish those who have died so let's just do what we can in our own powers to just survive this pandemic so from all of us my family and i are saying bye bye and have a nice and fruitful weekend bye